So let's now start thinking about how we can organize this color data. So right now it's a flat array. We don't tend to think about images as being a flat array, right? We tend to think about them as being two-dimensional. So let's make our array two-dimensional. So instead of having an array four, let's have an array two of array twos of colors. So something needs to change here. We now need to start specifying a two-dimensional axis, but let's think about how this color data is stored. So our image is expecting a value for each column and then those columns sorted into rows. So this inner array is representing the data for each column. So we're gonna have column, 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 and then this outer array is going to be storing data for our rows. So this will work. We just have to be aware that accessing into these is going to be backwards. So we're going to go column zero, row zero, column one, row zero, column zero, row one, column one, row one. And this should, if we pass colors.data, we're gonna to have to do a little bit of tweaking here. We're going to have to go a color pointer, colors.data. And now we need to specify colors zero dot size times colors dot size. So manually convert our data into the linear stream. It should already be stored in memory the way we want it to. We just need to, to get C++'s type system bypass it a little bit so that it becomes correct. 